Judah waving? I think Judah was waving. Man, we gotta do that. We're at the Alamo. Judah, we're at a fort. A fort? A fort, yeah. Let's go check it out. Look at that tree, you guys. First of all, folks, this river that you're on is natural. I don't know what natural. I'm taking a picture of it. The San Antonio River begins up north from here, only four miles away. The yeah. source an underground lake called the Edwards Aquifer. The aquifer measures 180 miles in length, 30 miles in width. From there, it goes an underground spring, where it's on four miles, makes a U-shaped aquifer called the Horseshoe Bend. It goes further down south, 138 miles, reaches the Guadalupe River. Then it goes 10 more miles down, reaches the Gulf of Mexico. The natives used to call this river Yanak One. It means peaceful under language. Also, the five missions that we have here in San Antonio on the river's edge for their mills. Now, directly ahead of us is the Higher Regency Hotel. Now, folks, listen up here. If you happen to be staying at this hotel directly in front of us, if you happen to have one of those rooms that be facing us, please be sure to close the curtains for obvious reasons, all right? <laughs> Now this hotel does sit directly in front of the Alamo, so before construction, well they have to do shadow testing to make sure no shadows ever cast over, out of respect. 
Vou deixar o jogo nessa outra lado. Ó, oh, o Rio do Chups, quero comer. Vem lá. Bats. Vem lá, Bats. Very good, ma'am. Mexican free tail bat anymore, Zach. Those well, here are small little bats, okay? They feed on insects. These are huge. Very beneficial to the farmers out here. These are big. Yeah, that can fertilize the land. For me, I like them because they take care of the mosquitoes out here. I can't stand mosquitoes. They take one look at me and they think I'm some sort of free buffet. Going to buy a walking gold corral. She out margarita. You heard about the fish bowl. Well, you run off and have one of those things, and I'll tell you a quick story. How was my birthday in July, okay? For the first time ever. I drank that thing like it was a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. It was about 104 degrees out here. It only took about 30 minutes. I had no idea that it was 13 shots of tequila. So what we're looking at there is modular construction. Each one of those rooms are built independently from each other, eight miles south away from here. Now, they built these rooms in on an assembly line fashion. Much like how you built some of the factories. So first they built the room for a big old cement block. They painted it, placed the carpet in there, made the bed. Put the towels on the towel rack, so fun the soap dish, even down to the Bible of the nightstand. They loaded up these rooms on flatbed trucks, and they brought them to this location. And then they started stacking up. Good old Marriott there purchased the land of the Fairmont. They want to create some hotel. Small little problem with idea. The Fairmont Hotel that was on that location is an historical landmark. In other words, the building itself is protected. Part of our history here, they cannot destroy it. So back in 1985, they actually jacked up the entire building, placed underneath 36 axles, hundreds of tires, and they moved the Fairmont Hotel six blocks behind us to Alamo Street right in front of Hemisphere Park. It took them six days to move the entire building, blocks per day. And they finally reached a new destination very safely. So I entered the Guinness Book of World Records for the largest structure to be moved pneumatic tires. Not too bad for six days. It took them two years to legalize paperwork. Now when they moved the Fairmont Hotel, they had to move it right on top of this bridge I was about to go underneath. So to drain this portion of the river off, put a bunch of sporting beams underneath it. This is the River Center Mall. We have a million square feet of shopping up in here. Also an IMAX theater, so the Battle of the Alamo for the price of freedom. And gentlemen, I forgot you guys, we're going to have Daddy's Day Care. So we're going to have to go to your Tuesday. A couple of sports bars there for you. Now, if you're looking for means of transportation out here, another service that we provide is the GoReal Shuttle Bus. Shuttle bed looks like this one here. The only difference is with sign up front that says shuttle. It's about sixteen dollars for a day pass. Wait, think about it, we changed it. And now it's a twenty-four hour pass. Alright, now that'll probably take you up to the North Channel. That's where you get to go through the lock and dam. So I've never experienced the Panama Canal with a micro mini version. So place that boat into a chamber, put up with thirty thousand gallons of water, lift you up nine feet. And then from there the Sanctuary Museum of Art. I was talking about earlier. The end point is called the Pearl, where well, there's 13 different restaurants. And those who thought about restaurants are not franchised, okay? So you have very selective palate, like more of the gourmet cuisine, that is your spot right there. We're in Long's Vacation Home. Or East Nancy House. And it's otherwise known as the Bear County Courthouse. Built back in 1896, called the Big Red. They had a red granite sandstone, it's the oldest, largest still operational courthouse here in Texas. That's what makes this building unique and one of my favorites. Take a look at the base of that building. You know, the bottom is pointed out. Everybody got that? Now put it all together and they made it look like a ship coming in the river. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Titanic falling up. Don't do that too long. I heard it's far more. Now we're on top of a floodgate. Take a look where I'm pointing at. See these shiny markings here? You get an idea how the floodgate works. Just like a drawbridge of a castle. So this floodwater up pops up, creates a barricade for the natural vinegar that we leave behind us. 
Shout out to support brothers going north to south with the control chat. End of day one. Did you have a good day? Yeah. We had a lot of fun. A very long, busy day. Looking forward to tomorrow, aren't we? All right. Bye, Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Peace, baby. Peace, baby. Bye. Bye.